Peggy 16. Grandpa, can you tell me what it was like living in Tropico back in the day? Of course, my dear. Back when I was young, this country of ours had nothing. Food was hard to come by in those days. The people weren't happy and it seemed like we were destined to starve and suffer forever. But then, our glorious El Presidente rose to power. He laid down roads and built up the towns. Tropico started to get back on its feet and grow little by little. We fought alongside our Presidente and gained our independence. Ah, but the joy of that victory was short-lived. What happened? Why stop? War soon engulfed the entire world, and our little country was caught in the middle of it. But that was only the beginning. After the war ended, a rift started to grow between the East and West. That was when Presidente changed. He became obsessed with industrialization. The first thing we should have done was develop garbage disposal sites and build waste treatment facilities. Alas, he did not listen. He was obsessed with building power plants. So close to our homes, too. Curse him. Puniete, no me hagas grita. Grandpa, are you all right? Yes, of course. Back then, we Tropicans had a craving for luxury goods and leisure facilities. After all, it's nice to have a drink every now and then. Life's fun that way. What's the harm in building one little rum distillery? And in a tavern, and maybe even another rum distillery. No seas ton como mierda. He has that tarea. Fucking idiot. Grandpa? Stop with the building and focus on consumption. Who the fuck? thinks having three factories and only one plantation is a good idea. Grandpa, calm down. Sorry, my dear. I'm fine now. Sometimes your old grandpa gets a little carried away thinking about the past like this. Now, one of the biggest changes was the roads. The more developed a country is, the more you need to move people around. Understand? Ah, yes. We used to call that road the Twisted Highway. Of course, a genius like El Presidente has no use for straight roads. Wanna see what he came up with? Ah, he está. You call this an improvement? Huh? Oh, and by the way, how am I supposed to tell my grandkids to get here? What do I just go and say? Take a left at the first intersection, then wander along the road clockwise until you get tired, and then just go straight? Asshole! And don't get me started on the buses. Oh, how about a bus stop here and a bus stop there? Total number of passengers? Zero. Ninguno. You know, a normal person would build bridges instead so that islands far apart stay connected. If I may have your don't attention to... You'll never guess what happened, President. Corruption is so rife, Governor. Climate change is real. Ignore her, President. Is this country made up of fucking idiots or what? As you can imagine, Presidente's approval rating continued to sink, but he finally got his act together. He fixed the roads and reorganized the nation's industries. He went back to being the kind, benevolent ruler we all knew from the old days. And that, my dear, is the history of our great nation that is Tropico. Sounds like you lived a real exciting life, Grandpa. My dear, you may even grow up to run your own country someday. Just make sure you never, ever end up being like our El Presidente. You hear?